let's go ahead and design something that looks like a profile. Now the profile will follow this format right here. So first name, last name, date, and then gender, and then the rank here. So we just need to display this information right here because a, prof a profile, sorry, will look identical. Whether you are a lecturer, a student, it's just that for a student, it will have more information than for a lecturer. So it will check what your rank is and then display the correct information. Okay. So to do that, let's just uh, navigate to profile here. So say profile it should not go anywhere, it should stay at the home page. And for now, let me just go to uh, home controller, copy everything as usual. Let me just close these other files uh, for now. We'll open them as we need them. So let's create a profile controller. So save this as capital profile dot PHP. Let's uh, change that as well to profile. And same here, let's say profile. Good. So we don't have the profile view yet, but not to worry. We're just going to go on the home, copy what's here, right click on views, new file, paste, save this as profile.view.php. Okay, so we have a nav bar, header, nav bar, and then we have, uh, we can remove this. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So this is a container fluid, um, which means it's 100% width, but I want to add a few styles here. Sorry about that, let me move here a bit. First of all, let me add a little bit of padding. So I'll say P4, maybe something like this. We'll adjust it as we see. And then I want this to have a max width as well of 1000 pixels like that. Okay, so max width, 1000 pixels. Um, what else here? Let me add a shadow. I like these shadows. That way we can see it. And let me make sure it's in the center. So MX Auto. Uh -huh. Let's say, oh, okay, so width is already 100%. So let's add some text here. Let me just use the H4 and just say profile like that. Okay, so if I now refresh, we should be here. So you see, there we go, profile. But I don't know why the container fluid part isn't... Oh, 1,000. Sorry, my bad. I put 100. Aha, there we go. That looks much, much better. Mm -hmm. So, at least we know this is a profile. Let's use some breadcrumbs. So if you go to Bootstrap here and um, you click on breadcrumbs, where is breadcrumbs? Right here on components. So this is the breadcrumb I chose. So this is right at the very top. Breadcrumbs is very short. So it's going to look something like this. This is just to show us where we are on the page, right? Mm -hmm. So instead, I'm going to add a new view inside the includes here. Right click, new view, paste like so, and then save as... Uh, bread eh, maybe let's save it as crumbs crumbs dot view dot php too lazy to type the whole thing then now i can duplicate this and change this nav to crumbs like so okay at least now we have um, let me come back here we have some bread crumbs yes yes Unfortunately, they're in the wrong place. So let's add them here instead. Okay, so refresh. There we go. Much, much better. Yes. Now, if you want to center these breadcrumbs, no problem. If I go to the crumbs themselves, uh, which is where exactly? Includes crumbs. This one, I can just say justify 
uh, content center. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't work here, just keep moving it to a different element and see which of them qualifies. Okay, that's much better. So at least we have navigation and then that's the profile. And then from there, let's add two. Uh, so let me close the scrams. We're going to deal with this later. So I just want to add a uh, another div to hold two divs. First div here. Okay, let me do that. And second div. So this first one will have a style. No, no, not a style. A class of row. That way, both of these are on the same, uh, are in one container. And then let me add a class of column to tell it that each of these is a column. And then this one, I'll say auto. That way, the width is automatic. Let me add some text here and some text there so you can see them. Let me come back here, refresh. So you see there's one item here, there's another one here. So for you to see where one of these starts and one, one, where the other ends, I can add a class, let's say BG secondary. These are just colors. I can add primary, I can put light or dark. But for now, let's do that. Okay, so you see this where it is, that's where it is. This one is auto and it's going to be automatic to the text content. But I want this one to have a fixed width so that this one can stretch to meet it somewhere here. So to fix this one, I can just say column four. Now, the way Bootstrap works, if you don't know, is that it's got 12 columns uh, here. So when I say call four, I'm saying this should occupy four columns of those 12. So no matter the size of the window, if I re resize this responsive view even if the thing is here it still has 12 columns that's how they designed it so 12 columns so if i say so that you can imagine that the four columns on this view are very different in size to the four columns on this size right this is much bigger so you can keep adjusting the number of columns depending on the breakpoint so there are these things called breakpoints where if you hit a certain width then it switches to a different size. So there's large, I think there's extra large, large, then medium, and then small. So we're going to see how to deal with those. So here I'm just telling it to occupy four columns. So as you can see now, it's occupying four columns. This one is occupying the rest, or it should at least in principle. So column, um, why is this not occupying? Okay, so it's following the content. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's just divide this by 12. So if, if we remove four from 12, we have uh, eight, right? So let's just tell this one to be on eight, like so. Okay, so at least they are sharing equally now. We have four and we have eight here. I think I like that a little bit better. Okay, so now that we are there, let's add an image here. Now, I have gone ahead and downloaded a few images, which you will find in the link in the description. Inside assets, where we had the logo, we have now no image, when there's no image. We have user female, we have user male. So I'm going to use one of these. <clears throat> I like the female better, so I'll add the female and just say uh, root as usual and then slash assets. Actually, you know, what I should have done is put an assets thingy as well, you know, instead of using root all the time. So let's fix that real quick. If I go to the um, config, where is config? Right there. Let's define a second one and let's call this one assets. Assets, wow, that was, yeah. So assets like this and then public assets because you know i keep typing that assets all the time so that's much better if i come back here now i can substitute this for assets i don't know why i keep spelling it wrong so assets and then i can say uh female wait what's the title user female dot jpg back here user underscore female 
And then what I will do is add a few classes here. So the first thing I will do is make, I'll say D display block MX auto uh, rounded circle. And what else? Uh, eh, I think that should do. So back here, refresh. Okay, there we go. It's right here, but uh, a little bit too big, yes? Mm -hmm. So there we can have a style and say width 100 pixels. Okay, so back here, refresh. There we go. So we have that 100 pixels, uh, maybe 150. Okay, so something like this. Profile. Uh, actually, we don't need this profile anymore. Since we have the breadcrumbs at the top there, we don't. So remove that. So we can move a bit closer to the top. That's good. And then I can add a border. Border. Primary. Like so. Okay, so something like this. Uh, maybe you don't like that. You can use a different car color, sorry. So in here now, we will need a table for our information. Okay, so let's add uh, that table real quick. So this one will be a table. So I'm going to say table. And I will give this table a few classes. So table row here. And then we'll say table header. And then this one will be first name. Full colon, like that. And then here there will be table data. So let's put a placeholder. We're going to say Mary Piri. That's a name uh, in my country. It's a valid name. And then I'll duplicate that last name. And let's see last name so let me remove one of these names here remove that and then gender here so gender and that's female okay female very good so let's add a few classes to this we'll say table because if we don't add classes it's going to look something like this refresh and there it is so you may like that let me change the background as well to light here. That was just for visual purposes. And then I'll say padding uh, two, just so we can, we are not right on the edge. Okay, so first name, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now I want to add the table thingy here and you see it looks much, much better like this. So I can add also table, uh, what can I say? Table hover, table striped. Okay, save that. All right, so at least if there's more information, uh, you get to see it here. And also table, you can add table uh, bordered so that we can have those borders if you want. Yeah, so those lines there. Okay, so at least we have our user and we have something here and then finally what we will do to finish this off uh, right after both of these row uh, div what we will do is add another one another div oops sorry there for our content down here Okay, so for now, we're going to end here. We have our user profile. Let's see how well it responds in responsive mode. There we go. So not so well here. Mm hmm. I see. Okay, so we're going to know how to fix that in the next video. I want this to move down here when it reaches a certain breakpoint. Okay. Alright, so we'll fix that in the next video.